shell casing kid has just found her second Santa. Oh my god! <laughs> Hey, it's Showcase and Kid, and we're on the north side of Cape May, up by the, right past this, that sign right there, is all Coast Guard property. So we can only go up to that sign. Uh, there's a really good shell bed right here. And then, I don't know if you can see it, but right out there, it's a fishing trawler. And of course, the Atlantic Ocean. That's a good find right there. I think that is a bay scallop, and it's, ah, oh, it's got a hole in it. Rats. It's a good color, and it has its ears. I didn't see the hole. But, oh well. What you got? That's a nice looking shark's eye. I don't know how. Someone missed this piece. It's big. And there's been people up and down this beach all morning. But they missed it. And I'm happy they did. Here's a quahog I found and it's all a ton of holes in it from I think those are like little snails or worms or something that try to get calcium and get to the inside. remains of another knobby whelk. That's a big one too. Leave it there for someone for someone else. giant oh my god that is an amazing find wow Casey okay, so kid just made an awesome find this morning this is on the this is on Cape May Beach North Cape May Beach and since it's light it's not alive Turn it over. just supposed to check to make sure it doesn't have any little teeth coming out but it's <laughs> that is a fantastic find. Shell casing kid has a couple finds here. Oh my gosh, what is that? What is that? Is it like a giant surf plant? something else. That is, it's probably the same thing, wouldn't you think? That is amazing. Very thin. It's hard to believe this is actually from here. Uh, Let's take it and then we'll identify it and then we can return it. I'm not sure. Wow.
but right now we're on the Delaware Bay, um, south of the ferry here. I don't know exactly what these beaches are called, but I think this is West Cape Bay behind me. Uh, but you can see the beaches are pretty clear, and we found a lot of glass on this beach. But we also found a couple shells that we find more often here. Here's a good find. That's neat. It's an angel wing? I think so. This scallop is a scallop. Um, it's a scallop. You really don't see these too often in New Jersey. Or at least I haven't been able to get up early enough to find them. <laughs> this is a razor shell. It looks like an old straight razor. Well, I think that's why they're called that. That's the two halves of it. And then there was something else here that's kind of interesting. Look at this. This is a vertebrae. And it's a pretty big vertebrae. And some animal. It's like a pipe, but... So. Don't know what animal, probably some marine mammal. A uh, marine animal. And there's a little crab right there. Climbing out of the rack. Oh, he just got smashed with the water. Here comes the Cape May Ferry. <laughs> just in time. Right there. That's another beautiful piece of green beach glaze. Look at this shell. I think it's an oyster shell, right? But take a look. It's got an imprint of another oyster shell on the back of it. Here's a really nice piece of amber. Second, oh my god! Oh my god! And look, this beach is being swept. Oh my god! That is beautiful. <laughs> How did you just do that? It's not even low tide. So here are three shark eyes that we found. But we're not going to take them because hermit crabs need a home. But I wanted to show them to you. And the bottoms of these are really neat too. They have like a little glossy button on the bottom of them. Really neat, but I think we're going to put them back on the beach so that hermit crabs have some place to move into. 
That looks like a gold coin. Is it a gold coin? Is it a gold coin? Ah, it's not a gold coin. It's a jingle shell. All right, here's the roundup for four days of beach combing, and we went out about twice a day for about two hours each time. So lots of finds, shells and glass only. There'll be another video that's um, rocks and fossils. So I'll start with the beach glass, lots of white and clear, two pieces of purple, a couple pieces of light blue, two pieces of dark blue. Here's a bottle that Mrs. Shell Casing fa Kid found. It's um, a portion, and I think this is an old blo uh, applied top bottle uh, with the Philadelphia embossing on it. That's pretty crazy in 2021 that you can still find close to a 100-year-old bottle on the beach, or a part of it. Uh, some green, brown, and amber, and even two very small portions of red beach glass. These are jingle shells, and they come in amazing different colors, including like, look at that bright orange piece, and then there's a bright yellow piece there. Even this piece is like dark with like a bluish wash on the top of it, and uh, lots of different colored jingle shells. This is called a slipper shell. It's uh, rare, uh, rarer to find them in this like dark color. Um, they call a slipper shell because they look like a slipper underneath. We have, oh, that's a little piece of pottery. These are cohogs. They're asymmetrical, whereas a surf clam is pretty symmetrical. That's a surf clam, an Atlantic surf clam. And then that's even a small little baby one that fell out when we were cleaning one of the other pieces. But these are cohogs, the ones that are asymmetrical. And what they have is that purple tint underneath, which is really neat and fun to see. Mrs. Shell Casing Kid also found all three of these sand dollars, and she found them all on the same day, but she found them on different beaches, which is amazing. It's really rare to find sand dollars on the New Jersey beach, and she found three on the same day. These shells we kept because they have these um, holes in them. And what we did research, we found out that it's a very specific type of sea sponge that sits on the shell and then bores into it to get the calcium out of it. So when you find a piece of a shell or a full shell that looks like it's been shotgunned, it's because um, a sea sponge has been feeding on it a little bit. These are also boring type creatures, sea creatures. These are called pittics. Um, but the shell is actually called an angel wing. These are really fragile shells, so it's rare to find a complete one, and this is the most complete one we could find, but look at the symmetry and the different kind of like um, pattern on it. Just a beautiful little shell. Uh, they're so fragile, it's like a potato chip, so I'm surprised that you can find a complete shell. Um, this is an oyster shell, and these are um, bay scallops, and they come in a whole bunch of different colors, including, like, look at that guy right there. But Mrs. Shell Casing Kid found a calico uh, scallop shell, which is another great find. So she, her eyeballs are finely tuned on this vacation. These are also oyster shells up here. We thought we found a kitten's paw, but that would be way out of its range, so it's probably just a real flat oyster. There's some shark's eyes up here. These are called arc shells, and they come in a bunch of different colors as well. Um, what do we have? This is a mussel shell. These are uh, mud whelks, and one of them could be uh, a basket whelk, a New England basket whelk, but not sure, but they're tiny. They're really, really small. And uh, so here we have the surf clams. So we have the tiny little shell, and then we have the, one of the biggest shells we've ever found. This is a deep sea uh, Atlantic oyster. And this is nearly the size of a salad plate. It's just a gigantic uh, shell. And uh, I imagine when they're on the beach, they get snapped up pretty quick. So to find even a portion as large as that is kind of rare. And then we found a couple other little pieces of them. So they're showing up on the beaches. 
If you can find one of these, you're, you're a pretty good sheller. And then finally, we have all the whelks. These are knobby whelks. And that's actually a nearly complete one. Uh, but you find them, they're the curly Q ones. But awesome finds. And um, like I said, we'll be posting a vid video for the rock hounding and the fossils that we found later on, uh, probably next week. And also, one other thing is, we're not going to keep all the shells. We just wanted to show you a lot of different varieties. We're just going to pick and choose the ones that we like the best, and then we'll probably return a lot of them back to the beaches where we found them. So, until next time, always be looking down.